Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you guys are new to our channel, consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos about tutorials for various designing softwares. So today's video is all about how to make this amazing uh, bubble text effect. It's fairly easy and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it from scratch. Okay, so we'll create a new Photoshop document. Um, we'll name it as bubble text. I made it 1920 by 1080 pixels. Alright, so once the layer is created, you want to unlock the background layer by double clicking on it. You want to uh, type uh, some text over here. In this case, I'm going to type uh, bubble text. I'll just try to make it identical to the previous image I showed. We'll just center this. Okay, so once it's centered, we'll hide this and we'll work on our background. We'll give it a gradient overlay and we'll choose, um, you can choose any color you want. Um, in this uh, in this case, we'll be uh, taking something um, pink. So that looks good. You can again pretty much select whatever color you want. Um, just so you guys know, since it's a background, you want to select radial uh, and you want to hit reverse. And then you want to move the cent move it to the center, so it looks pretty good. And then you can scale it to the maximum. So this looks pretty decent. Now we'll unhide the text layer. All right, so we'll just make this white, so it looks pretty good. Now the first thing you want to go ahead and do is apply a gradient overlay, but this time you want to apply white and off gray, uh, so that it looks pretty good. Um, something around here that looks um, maybe you can make it a little bit darker uh, and that looks amazing um, now this time you don't want radial you want to make it linear you can scale it down so you can see where you are uh, we'll just hit reverse and now I'll scale it up I'll bring it slightly down so this looks uh, off white at the bottom and white on the top and that's what I want uh, I'll hit Okay, now the second effect you want to apply is um, uh, the bevel and emboss. This is the main effect which gives it uh, the bubble bubble type of uh, look. Okay, so now I had inner bevel. All right, uh, technique was smooth. The depth you can play around and uh, get whatever you want. For me, this looks okay. I'll keep it here. The size again, you can play around. I I would like to have the gloss to be centered at the text, so I'll just keep it somewhere around here. You can soften the border, but I would just keep them chisel hard. Uh, now you can change the angle as well. All right, uh, so it, it, it kind of like you can play around and make it at an angle where you feel it's perfect. And uh, this is the gloss contour usually it's at this uh, but this 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 option with this particular option which is the linear diagonal it looks pretty basic we want something uh, extra and so what we'll do is we'll apply a double curve right here you can play around and put whichever you want but uh, the best would be this double curve so that it gives it more of like a glassy uh, bubble kind of look so we'll just keep it here now you can also play around with the opacity and make it met metallic uh, but since we don't want metallic we just want uh, a bubble type font we'll just keep it somewhere around here okay the opacity uh, you can keep uh, other option as well like a, a soft light and overlay but none of them is gonna look good as normal so I kept it on normal okay now this almost looks what we want all right now just couple of more effects to uh, uh, extrude or um, make the text more decorative I'll apply stroke uh, you want to have black color um, whatever you guys feel like uh, again, it's up to you. I feel that this is okay. Uh, I just want all the gaps to be covered so it looks uniform. Alright, now uh, I'll apply outer glow. Alright, and in this case, I'm gonna use white color. Uh, and you wanna hit normal and opacity, you wanna play around. 
just so you don't want to make it uh, too aggressive all right something like this but you want to keep it just close to the stroke so it just uh, uh, pops out the effect which you are trying to uh, create all right now um, we can also uh, put inner shadow just to have more depth so you can see the the shadows right here are a little bit uh, exaggerated uh, and that's what we want again you want to keep it normal opacity you want to play around to whatever you feel comfortable I don't want it to be too dark or too light but I'll just keep it somewhere around here and I kept the angle right here you can change the angle but uh, it's again up to you um, whatever you feel like uh, distance same thing you don't want to keep it too close otherwise the effects is not gonna appear uh, and the size somewhere around here again you can you can play around with the contour but uh, just so you guys know the contour option is uh, pretty much good for bevel and embos not for uh, other options unless you really want it okay so um, the effect wasn't applied I'll go ahead and apply the effect again now with Photoshop it's gonna pre uh, it's gonna pick up the uh, the effect from the last work you did so you don't have to worry just hit ok and it's, it's done now the text looks awesome just one last thing I would um, pretty much do is um, maybe the drop shadow and we'll use some different form of color in this case I'm using red again you can use whatever you want the reason why I'm using red is because it, it blends with the background and uh, it merges with the background and pops out the text really nice okay again you can play around with the option the size I have kept it uh, at the highest because I want it to really blend with the background uh, the distance whatever you feel like I'll hit ok and that's pretty much it so uh, the bubble text is pretty much ready uh, I'm gonna link um, this PSD file in the description down below if you guys want to use the effects it's ready to go just uh, just drag this layer to your document and edit the text and you're free to use it uh, this effect anywhere you want for example designing a birthday card or editing your image or even designing a graphic uh, element so I really hope you like this video uh, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Uh, till then, peace out. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys.